Hello everybody, back here again from our Idiot's Guide to Recumbent Biking. And today's little tip is going to be um, whether or not you want to actually try and come out here and ride your recumbent bike on rock roads, rock trails, and then even now some on the actual dirt trails to timber. Um, I would highly not recommend it. Um, it's been really super sketchy. I haven't been able to go very fast, which isn't a big deal because the rock on the trails out here are really a lot bigger than they need to be. And I keep kind of bouncing, you feel the tire dancing around quite a bit and coming down some of the downhills the tires are slide really bad and it gets super squirrely on a recumbent because you're not over top of the weight balance very well so i'm having a little trouble getting used to that but the one thing i'm going to show you out here on the little trail is these are actually just like plain old dirt um, mountain biking type trails and that and what you can see i can get a little better look out there you see the trail kind of going up through there i did ride down here a little bit on it i have my gopro in the front of the bike so we'll be able to see a little bit of this um i've shut it off of course now but this right here is a giant tree that fell over you can see the root ball there on the end and it's blocking this entire trail and normally you know i would just say to heck with it and just go back but i think i want to go ahead and go on this trail there's some actual mountain bike nice little downhills and stuff i want to at least go over there and check it out so i haven't decided if i'm going to bother taking the time to try and pick the bike up and haul it over there but instead i think i'm probably going to leave my bikes in our hand side trail i'm not going very far um i don't have didn't bring a cable lock nothing so i don't have any way of securing it but what i'm going to say is if you come to something like this it's most likely if it's not been taking our way be super careful because this tree might not be stable i've actually crossed this a couple times already and watched another guy cross it and i just climb up on it jump over top set your bike across not a big deal but when you come on this something the first time be super safe because you're out here by yourself like i am right now if this tree over here that's resting against was to finish breaking this tree could fall over crush my leg break my leg and li literally leave me pinned here for who knows how long until somebody else comes along the trail the thing with it is this trail is not used much at all so I might be out here for days, and I actually just realized the fact that I didn't even tell anybody I was out here. So I'm one of those situations right now, if that tree was to fall on me, I could be pinned out here until somebody else comes along, because nobody would think to come out here and look this direction. So one of the things, like I said, this bike here has got the small little front tire for the recumbent, and it's got the bigger back tire, but the bigger back tire is not much bigger, as you can see here. It's still a small tire compared to like a mountain bike tire would be. And the other thing with it is the fact, if you notice right here, this tire is pretty well it's smooth on the front there. there's not much tread on it definitely um not the greatest for being out here you would definitely want to get like a mountain bike tire and they do make mountain bike tire type treads for these bikes but not something i'm probably gonna spend the money on because i doubt i'll be out here much it'd be cheaper for me to just go spend like 100 bucks and buy a cheap mountain bike off craigslist something like that instead which is something now i know i have a mountain bike trail out here by me i might go ahead and do but Anyway, that's what I've got right now. It's just kind of the safety world. When you're going on these trails, realize the fact your bike might pick up a lot of speed going down the hills. Be careful. When you get all this leaf litter on the trail surface, you can't see the ruts. You can't see the holes, that kind of stuff. So be careful, especially your first time down a trail. Take it really slow. But main thing is when you come across something like this tree, just be super careful and realize the fact that that tree might have been there for three months. It might have been there for three days. might have been there for three minutes. You don't know. But all it takes is that tree down at the far end down there that was holding it up if that was to finish rotten out if it was be raining got a little muddy the day before something like that this tree could slip over could fall could crush break your leg pin you in there and you're stuck there for quite a while so definitely if you're going out on these little weird trails and stuff tell somebody shoot an email to your buddy shoot a text message to someone tell them at your house whatever where you're going give them a general idea if your schedule changes on your trip just shoot a text message out, tell them where you're at. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that so I get off here. I'm gonna send my buddy a text and tell him, hey man, I'm heading down such and such trail off of such and such area where we just were. So just let him give him a general idea of where you're at and what you're doing. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. You get out there and put some miles on your bike.